Hello folks, Brendan at Fable Blades. How you going? This is me, um, my workshop. Uh, just working on these video diaries of, uh, of my scabbard making processes for you and uh, sharing it with those who like to make their own scabbards. I thought this might come in handy, some of these hints. Uh, yesterday's episode I showed you the scabbard core today. I've oiled it. I've, um, I oiled it last night, let it soak overnight. I've put a couple of layers of shellac on the uh, the core you can see it's a little shiny there um, all right so next thing is the leather wrap which is veg tanned leather I work from four ounce leather which is about 1.5 mil or a sixteenth of an inch um, and then I have just finished skiving the leather which uh, adjusts the thickness of various areas of the leather it's probably hard to pick up with the camera, but I will go through what I've done there in a second. So I have a leather riser at the top. Now this scabbard is going to have a steel locker which will slide up to the top and it's going to have a couple of ring posts and hooks and uh, hook onto a, a sword belt that way. Um, if you're doing an interlaced scabbard, you'll have uh, risers in various points on the scabbard to locate your belts. Um, now, uh, when I'm skiving the leather wrap, I take all of this into consideration what my, my plan is for the scabbard. So where I've got the riser, I have uh, skived this leather down to maybe 0.7 of a millimeter, so it's nice and, and flexible, quite moldable. So when I wet mold it and glue it around the riser, I can really contour it and hug that riser very tight. And if there were lateral risers in different parts of the scabbard, I would uh, hog out little bands across there so that those parts will mold very closely. Uh, while it's wet, while the glue's wet, I'll mold it and uh, press it hard in against those risers so it really picks up those shapes. Now for this one, I want to mold it to this fuller, so I have taken a little bit of skin off uh, the, uh, the the leather wrap where that fuller will be. So when I glue this on, I'm going to sit it there. I'm going to line up those edges. I'm going to glue that edge first, wait for it to dry, press it on, and then glue most of the wrap, mold that on, and then I'll glue this final edge last after I've set all of that. Um, so I know that this area is going to be contouring to that fuller so this area is also uh, skived down to that sort of 0.7 of a millimeter type of thing about half the original thickness so that i can mold it in nicely to the fuller uh, the edges where i start you can see it's a different color at the, at the side edges that's basically paper thin there you can see it wrinkling uh, i'll see if i can pick it up for you but yeah very thin on those edges so I'll have a glued overlap seam so this will come around and uh, and end up about a quarter of an inch overlap against that edge uh, that's going to be at the back of the scabbard whatever's at the back you know keep it harsh you know <laughs> whatever's at the back of the sword of the scabbard it can be ugly you know it's not for show so um you know, whatever goes on behind the scenes stays behind the scenes. It's not on show. What's on the front of the scabbard is what people are showing off. It's what everyone's looking at. That's where it's got to look good. Uh, okay, so this leather wrap, I've kept almost full thickness. You can see how stiff it is, which is going to be sitting here. That's where most of my heavy tooling is going to be. That's going to be the show showstopper area of the scabbard. So I've, I've sort of blended these different regions of the scabbard. Uh, so this, this is a bit thin, thinner where the back of the scabbard's going to sit so I can pick up this nice ridge. I want it to mould nicely to that ridge so it shows off that, that ridge. I want it to show off the fuller. I want thick leather here, which is going to be here, which is going to have my main canvas of tooling. There's a little bit of thickness still here because I'm going to run some tooling up the edge there. I've got a plan and I've shaped the leather to, to suit my plan. How do you do that? This is what I use. I hate bladed skivs. Uh, they make a, a mess 
they get all you know you can't I, I hate them I can control beautifully using a 40 grit belt this is a six inch wheel you can see how much leathers come off that's all the pink stuff's all leather yellow stuff's are poplar the pink stuff's leather that's how much leather I've taken off this skin uh, and like I say, I can, I can blend it, I can keep it beautifully smooth. I've got 100% control over what I do to this leather using that 40 grit belt. You don't want to find a belt because it will burn the leather. But be aware, this 40 grit belt, I do it with bare hands because I don't want to get my grimy gloves on the leather and I'm, I'm pretty familiar with it. But it will take meat off as quick as it takes. You know, as in the blink of an eye, you can lose the tip of your finger. <laughs> yeah it, it's happened so be aware when you're doing it that's a dangerous piece of equipment it's designed for hogging out steel and it flies through timber and uh yeah it will take off flesh real quick so um yeah that's what i wanted to tell you for now as i said yesterday i'm going to be gluing this with type bond original never use type bond 3 near sword blades Type bond original, uh, type bond three is acidic and it will mark your blades. Uh, type bond one is safe around sword blades. Type bond two and three, they get more and more acidic and they give off fumes. They will mark and discolor your steel and cause rust and all sorts of issues. Never use them on scabbards or sword grips if you can help it. Uh, type bond original, I use that on the leather. I use it on the poplar for the scabbard core. Uh, and yeah, that's what I'll be using for for gluing on the the, the leather. And um, another note when you're doing risers, sometimes you want to interlace your straps. You want to remember some of those areas will not have glue because you're going to pass laces of leather through them. Uh, it's a little point that you'll figure out when you do interlace scabbards. But um, yeah, happy crafting, folks. I hope this has been helpful to those who are of a want to make their own scabbards. Thank you.